everybody. Um, welcome back. Today I thought I would do another Create With Me. Um, I'm really struggling with the big journals at the moment, so I've just put those to the side and thought I'm just going to take some time and try to do a few things that are just fun uh, for me. And I don't know how this is going to go because um, I want to play around I don't want to be too stressed about, you know, what I'm saying on camera. So, you know, I hope you guys will enjoy it. But the whole thing is I've got to get back to just doing some simple things for a bit to have a bit of a break. So what I thought today was it would be fun. I got these a while back, the Prima um, watercolor paper tags. And I thought it would be fun just to play around and see if I can make um, some tags. So... Um, I don't <laughs> I kind of roughly have something in mind because uh, a couple months back I purchased the Tim Holtz tattered butterfly die and I'm ashamed to say I haven't even used this die so I want to do something with some butterflies on here I want a lot of layers and dimension so I'm just gonna get started but before I do let me just show you guys um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't have seen this. Um, yesterday, I was in such a funk um, that I started off with the journals. I told you guys I was aiming to get out this week, and it just was just bad. So I just thought, okay, right, I'm putting this away. But I'm going to persevere. I'm not going to let this, um, you know, get me down because I've got to, I've got to push on. So I just thought, you know what, I have these 9x6 envelopes. Let me just make, get started doing some um, Happy Mail envelopes. So I sat down with my papers and just collaged these and decoupaged them. Yes, decoupaged them. <laughs> and then I went back on two of them and put the labels ready to address. But I just thought you guys might kind of like, um, sorry, that's the back of that one. Um, you might enjoy seeing these because um, I'm not probably going to do a tutorial on this because the whole point of it was just for me to just relax um, with this and I am thrilled with how they came out. Um, the papers from these are Artie Mays collage papers and um, Antique Papery. Um, papers. So if you if you like what you see, those are the two ones I uh, used for those. So anyways, let's just get started on this tag and see how far we get with this. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I think, you know, I probably won't be doing a lot of talking, guys, because I, I, I haven't had this project planned. I just thought, oh, heck, I'll just bring you guys along and it may turn out great. It may be one that goes in the bin. We'll decide. Um, but I think to start, I think I'll put a little bit of watercolor. Um, so I'm going to need to get a bit of water. And I know I've got... Let me see. I'm going to have to get a little bit of water so we can get started. I've got a jar in my studio, but I don't even know where it's at at the moment. So, um, okay, I don't have expensive watercolors because I don't do a lot of um, art journaling. I thought I was going to get into that, and it just, you know, I'd still dabble in it, but um, not enough to that I've purchased anything expensive. So these are those, um, you know, the cheapies from Michaels, and if you're in the UK, these are the cheapy ones from... Um, hobby craft. So that's all I'm gonna gonna do. And like I said, I don't even know. This may end up just being completely covered up. I uh, don't know. Uh, let's see, I kinda want some 
sagey green, I think, in the background. Like I said, this is just was really just for me to just do kind of a reset because I am just, uh, I don't know. You know how sometimes you just, everything you do, you feel like, oh, this just needs to go in the trash. I'm at that point again, and I think it's just because I've been working on so many journals for so long that it's just, I got to have a bit of um, smaller projects, which was what I thought with the um, the mini journal that I started. I thought that would be okay, but like I said, I just, I don't know. This week, I just think I'm just going to sit it all to the side and just start doing some smaller projects, which was awesome yesterday to just get in here and do the... Um, Happy Mail envelopes. I loved that. I had so much fun doing that, and um, I just went off into the zone. So yeah, that's going to need to be dried, but I'm not going to pull out my um, dryer. I'm going to set that to the side and start getting everything else kind of ready. Because um, I know I want to cut... And like I said, this may not even end up showing. This is just, this is total experiment here. When that dries, I might do a little bit of stenciling on the back. But I'll set that over there to the side. Um, I'm going to cut my butterflies, I think, from um, some doo -doo 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 card, uh, craft card. Because I want those to be a little bit sturdier. And let me see, I think I've got some off cuts of this here. Yeah, I've already got a piece. This is, I think this was about, uh, I don't know, maybe 200 GSM. So it's a sturdier um, <coughs> craft cardstock. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done any real, um, you know, this type of a tag. And uh, I used to enjoy doing this, but that's why when I spotted this die from uh, Tim Holtz, I thought, oh, I love it, because I really like the butterflies. Oh yeah, those are nice. I'm going to put a link below if you guys are interested in this die. Um, I've got a um, affiliate link to Amazon. And if you're not familiar with that, uh, what it is, there's no additional cost to you as a, as a buyer. But if you bookmark and use my link, I get a very small percentage um, from the sale of, of that and uh, anything that you purchase on Amazon. So, um, you know, if you do buy from Amazon, I would really appreciate that if, if you wouldn't mind going through my link because it does help, um, you know, support my channel. But if you shop somewhere else absolutely you know you got to do do what works for you okay we've got those cut out and I'll come back to those because this is this is getting there I may still have to shoot that with a little bit of heat it's just I've got all of my um, electrical outlets being used at the moment so, okay, I think what I'll do in that case, guys, is go ahead and cut out a few more things. Um, let me see here. I'll get the big shot back over because I think what I want to do now, and I don't know, we're, we're just experimenting here. Let me pull this up so you guys can see just a little bit more. 
hopefully, hopefully you can see. Um, da -da -da. I've got the wildflower dies. I think I want to do some of those. And here are my, these are all my scraps from Stampin' Up! Days. So I think I'm going to try to pull some colors from this and use. Mm, that's a little bit, well, I can tone that down, I suppose. So I checked on this um, chrome cutting plate and um, in the UK it looks like it's going to take a while for me to receive it and it's um, a little bit pricey going through uh, so I don't know. I don't know what to do about it because these um, <coughs> plastic cutting plates are not, um, they are not lasting very long. Well, I use my machine a lot too, so. But yeah, I don't know what to do about it. I, I kind of want to order them and I wanted to see if I could get my son to bring them, but I'm starting to get really worried. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he doesn't remember stuff very well, as most of the kids these days. And so I've ordered um, a few things that I know I cannot get here, like glassine bags, which is just crazy. Um, so I've had those shipped to him. I ordered some fabric because... You know, I don't have enough material in my space. <laughs> um, but now I found some awesome fabrics. So, and now I'm thinking, oh man, that boy better have that stuff in his bag when he shows up here. <laughs> I am worried because I'm thinking the night before he flies, I'm going to have to text him and remind him. Because I know how he is. He's a, he, I uh, probably, you know, will shove it here and there and totally forget it when the time comes. So I'm a little bit worried. I'm thinking, oh man, I'm probably just wasted all that money and never see those items again <laughs> until he uh, moves house or something. Okay, let's get over to some different colors, colors, colors. Um, let's see. Let's just, because what I'm going to do, uh, and I tend to do this, is I just try to you know, think of what I am going to use, but then once you get it all out there, the chances are these will end up in my little box. Um, you know, because if I lay it out and I'm not happy with it, then they'll probably end up in a different, a different place all together. But yeah, yesterday it was nice just to sit down because I thought, oh, you know, because sometimes you just think, oh, I probably should just walk away from it. But, um, yeah, maybe I should have, but it was nice just to push on with it. And in the end, I really did enjoy it. Um, so that's nice when that happens. I have the, um, you know, the little tool for these where you got the uh, foam and the little brush thing. I've got one of those, and doggone it, I've, that was another item I uh, forgot to bring with me, and I don't know how. Well, I do know how it happened because in the end, I had started out thinking I was going to be shipping stuff. But it was so expensive that it wasn't worth it. I could have bought the stuff. By the time the UK put their tax on me bringing stuff from, you know, it was stuff I bought in the UK, taken to the US, 
and was bringing it back into the country, but I couldn't prove that I had purchased it here. So by the time the UK was going to put their tax on it, I could have just come here and bought this, the items um, from new. So I just thought, oh, this is stupid. You know, you've got to draw the line at some point. So that's why I decided just to bring, I brought five suitcases and it came out cheaper um, to do it that way. So what had happened in that time is I kept packing, weighing, having to, you know, adjust the weight because I had gotten a quote on, you know, X amount of pounds per box. I'd ended up packing five times, and that wasn't the house, that was just my items that I wanted to ship here, which was equated to about 20 boxes, um, because I had been buying up stuff clearanced after Christmas, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to do a Christmas market, yada, yada, yada. So I had, I was hoping to bring all that stuff with me, and in the end, this is why, you know, so much stuff, at the end of it, Oh, I just wanted out of that place. Um, so I suppose that's how it all ended up happening. But hopefully I'll get to go back and, I don't know, go down to my unit, maybe get into it. And I, The problem is, you know, with storage units, it's all piled up and I'll be on my own. So it'll be whether or not I can get back into <coughs> the... Um, the correct containers to pull a few items out and bring back with me, but I don't know if that's going to work out or not. I hope so. I really do. Yeah, it grieves me to have um, stuff, you know, because you feel like, I don't know, it's really strange. You really do get attached to... I don't... I'm not a materialistic person, but having said that, um, so much I think of our identity is tied up in, you know, I've got things that were my mom's um, that's been in storage now, minus the brief period um, when I was in Tallahassee. That stuff's been in storage now for 10 years, you know, except for the two years I was in Tallahassee. Um, and I did you know, put it all into my property there, and it was nice to have my things. But it's just sad because I used to be a very house-proud person, and I still, as far as, you know, keeping my place clean and stuff, I'm, I'm pretty bad about all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I, I really like, I have to have my house clean and organized, otherwise I start getting really stressed, and I'm sure it's all part of my weird personality, but... Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, I, I've kind of lost interest in the fact that, you know, the things that matter to me are sitting in a storage unit, so, um, I don't know, like I said, I'm really hoping that at some place, at, at some point in the future, you know, we can get everything in one one place because when when we were over there obviously you know we had stuff here that was stored and we couldn't get to and I just don't know what's going to happen really don't I um I often think and I guess this goes back to that saying the grass is always greener because I, I often envy people who have lived in one place their whole lives, you know, because I think moving around <clears throat> can make you very discontent with what you have. And they're always, you know, you go places, because I've got such a roaming spirit, and I don't know why. But I've always had that. Um, and although I get very dissatisfied when I've been in a place for more than a couple of years, I, I do hope that there's going to come a point where I feel as though I can settle down. I think I am 
approaching that because this move here, um, you know, we, we did it with the intent of, okay, well this is it for a few years. Um, we're here, um, you know, I won't give, to, you know, too much. We're here because of Paul's parents. Um, they're aging and they've got a lot of health problems at the moment and my dad is as well but the difference is Paul's an only child so they don't have anybody else and um, my dad's got my older brother down the road that's um can help him at the moment but there probably is going to come a time where I'm going to have to go back <clears throat> and uh, I just don't know. It's a worry. It's a worry. Well, I don't know guys. I'm getting a lot of stuff cut up here and uh, not making a lot of progress, am I? Uh, pink? Yeah, let's go ahead and put a couple of those. Okay, I think what I'll do, guys, is shut the camera off. Let me go ahead and cut the rest of these out. And then, because I know this has got to be boring just listening to me going on and on and on. So let me cut some more out, and then we'll start trying to pull things together. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, what I've done <clears throat> is I've dried this with some, you know, the heat gun for a little bit. And then I just got one of these little sponges, and with my little butterfly, I wasn't sure if this was going to work, so that's why I did it off camera. Um, what I did was just really, really lightly put this into like a drop of just a little drop of water. Not much because otherwise it's going to start making that run. And then I just dabbed the watercolor. You can see there's there's very little. And then I just kind of take it back off of that. And just dab it on the edges there. And then I'm going to come back over this with some um, after this dries I'm going to come back over this with some um, distressed ink to tone it down a little bit, but I just thought I want just the edges to be a little bit colored there. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? I'm going to let those dry. Uh, okay. So, let's see here. I've taken this Edith Holden book page and just ripped it because I think I want that kind of <coughs> in the background. But I want to distress this a bit and then I think I also want to run this through the machine because um, if you don't have one of these little tools you can take this, the edge of a um, scissor blade and do this as well. I do think I'm going to need to, um, I want to do some stitching in the background of this as well. Okay, I'm going to run this to the machine quickly, and then I'm going to come back and start distressing them. Okay, so there's where we're at so far. Put some stitching around that, and now I just want to come back and age this around here. I 
so that's looking better. It's, it's all starting to look like it kind of belongs now. So, let's see here. I think these... We're going to need inking a bit. Was there just too, too bold? Like I said, I don't even know what uh, I'll end up using on these, but Got a center, yeah. Here it is. Actually, you know what? I think I will try to use a something on the center of this one because this is a nice big butterfly. I like to experiment because um, sometimes you think. I don't have a lot of the Tim Holtz. I've got this one because it was on sale um, at the store that was going out, but I don't have a lot of the um, Distress inks, and sometimes I think you can think, oh, I can't really do, you know, things that maybe you're seeing, but just experiment with um, your watercolors because it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Good, I think. Okay, so da, 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 da. let's see. I've got a couple of those done. Because what I was thinking is, I want to have some stuff in the background, and then maybe I'm gonna have to have some kind of wording. I think. So I'm kind of thinking this in the background. And then this at the the front, but then I'm also thinking about this was um this little frame was gifted to me, and I'm wondering if I could use that. Or if the green, that green might be nicer. Let me play around with this a bit. I don't know if I can get all of this in one go because I've got, um, I may have to do, <laughs> do it in two parts. I hope not, but uh, I don't know. I'll try it. Well, I think I'll put some brads in this as well, just to have some metal. Ah, I wish I had that tool. This is annoying. I'll have to have a look this weekend if I go out to the store and see if I can find a substitute tool for these little fussy ones. Oh yeah, I think that's the one. I think the white's just too white, so. I think I'm going to put some of this on there too. That's this wild honey. That's actually really pretty on um, on that frame. It just makes it 
look even older, so I'll try that on here as well. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, what I've decided is to run a small piece of uh, just plain cardstock through this is the embossing folder. It's the Rose Toss from Anna Griffin. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get this inked up a little bit. And then I'm going to have that on the background. So I'm going to need to cut this. got oval dies. Oh, that's, that'll be, hmm, that might work. I think that's, let me just make sure that's not going to cut it too small. That's going to be perfect. So I'm going to run this to the big shot and cut it out. See if I put a little bit of that, how that works on the background. I want this to be really subtle. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get a little bit of glue. I'm worried about this glue today because I mixed, um, I had to thin it out. I think I probably got it too thin. <sighs> it was funny yesterday, somebody sent me a message and said, be sure that you get all the things ordered that you said. I must have been going on about that in the whole video, so I apologize for that. I think when I'm on here, this is kind of like my thinking time, so I must not be aware of um, how often I'm saying things, because I do know in, in real life I do repeat myself often, <laughs> which totally gets on my family's nerves. So I'm sorry if I was going on about my list. Boy, that just does fit. That was that's close. So now I'm just trying to think. Because what I want to do is have that. It's not gonna fit center. I don't think I would want to center it completely. So I'm going to have that and then I want these flowers. But I want them really. Hmm. How to do this? Okay. First of all, let me get some linen thread. This one's kind of a um, more of a yellowy rather than a natural, so I like that one. I'm just going to wrap this a bunch. Sorry, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to tie this off. <coughs> if 
I hope this will show. This is the thing. Um, sometimes you get all the stuff under here and then realize it's not even going to really show that much. But hopefully it will just to have a little bit more texture on this tag. Okay. There we go. Now, I want some of these in the background, but how is this going to fit? That's there. I'm going to have those. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead, I think, and put some of these behind. I'm not going to worry about um, gluing all of it down because I kind of like the idea of it being a, um, the top part being a little bit loose. So I'm happy just as long as I know it's not going to come off that page. Same thing here. I'm just going to dab that. And I'll have that one go over the... Um, that's on top of the twine because this frame I'm going to have to put that do, 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 do. let's put oh, let's, I need a different 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 one alright let me ink one of this color because we need let me use this one I like the shape of this I may have to cut some more because I, I think I really like these the shape of these pretty. Okay, now let's see if I can get this. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to put some brads in that. Let me put two brads quickly. Okay, now let me just see and get this frame down. But you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to put a little bit of script. Because I feel like that needs, let me see how that would look. No, I don't want that. Ah, uh, da da da. I just felt like that needed something. I'll have to clean that. That's all. Let me see so far where we're at. And just a little bit. It was a little bit too plain. 
Um, okay, how are we on time? Let's see, yeah. All right, let me get this frame on, and I think we can start pulling this together. Um, because I want to find some really nice words. Um, Yeah, like that. And here I'm just going to start coming in and, and placing some, uh, some more of these little wildflowers. to do. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? The other thing I'm thinking I'm going to come back and try and put a bit of this copper And this is where I think, uh, for me, it gets really tricky because it's so easy to go overboard, and I don't want to do that. But <coughs> it is very easy to do. I've done it in the past, and then it just all ends up in the the bin. But I guess that's all part of um the learning experience. That's pretty. I'll just have that, then I'll snip it off at the bottom. Okay, this is where we're at so far, and I still feel like there's, there's still things I need to do. So, let me just pause it, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer so you can see these final, I think we're nearly there. I'm not going to need these, so I'm going to put this away. What I've decided, I don't have the Tim Holtz safety pin, so I aged some pins the other day and I'm going to use that as the center of that butterfly. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, before I do this I'm going to see if I can put a little bit of this copper if it'll work or not. I've not tried it this way. I usually use my finger but A 
be getting too much on there. <laughs> I do worry because sometimes it, it's just so easy to do, to just go overboard. Just going to do the very tips of this butterfly so that he'll stand out a little bit more. And then I'll come back along the edges of this. Just very lightly, I'm doing that on that frame and around that, the outside of the tag, so it all kind of... I mean, I don't want it to blend so much that, you know, things don't stand out, but I want it to all come together, too. So this is the part I always find is, is difficult. Alright, so I'll see if I can show you guys. Yeah, hopefully, I don't know if it's going to show. The lighting's not great in here, I know, but I'm hoping you can see just the very edges. It's got the copper, so. So, fingers crossed, I can get this finished without having to empty my SD card. Okay, there we go. I'm happy with I'll let him just dry a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's I really like that. Wonder. Let me try to put a little bit more of this honey in the center. Just disperse that up a little more. Okay, now this is the part getting these metal pieces to stick. This isn't the right glue, and I know it's not. But hopefully, gosh, I hope this will stay. Because once you've committed to it, if it doesn't work, you got a problem. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping I can let it sit, and it'll... Uh, I keep moving my the wings so that I know. And what I'm going to do is just let him sit and dry. But I'll just show you the last little things I think it needs. And I'm hoping, oh please Lord, let this thing stay. Um, I'm going to wrap this. I've got the twine, but it's not showing up that much. So I want to do the same thing down here. I want this to be... And I'll put the bow over here, I think, to balance. Well, maybe there. I think it better be there. So, oh boy. I'm going to just try to wrap this quickly. I'm just, I don't want to move that until I know that that thing's absolutely secure. But, um, I'm going to wrap this many times because I, I don't have any raffia here. Isn't that what it's called, raffia? Mm, I think it is. Um, otherwise, that would have been super, super pretty because it would have been a little bit thicker. Stood out a bit more than this, but I, I'm happy with this. I'm going to make it work. So Sometimes I kind of like challenging myself to just use what I've got because uh, we don't have everything all the time and it's nice to just say okay well I'll just do what I can <laughs> with what I got and this is going to be pretty I think when it's done
Let's see my little thing. Okay, and the other thing is I've got this that says the unknown world is beautiful. So that's going to go right there. Or maybe I should go, hmm. Too dark, I know. I mean, too light. I gotta tone that down a bit. I think it's gonna go right there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I think I don't want to take away from. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna go with it. Oh. Okay, guys, so what I'll probably do, um, maybe some sorry silk up here, nothing too, too bold. Let me see if I've got a piece quick. Yeah, this is a nice, nice piece there, I think. And then I'm going to set this to the side to make sure that that safety pin is, is secure. And then that's, I'm going to say that's done. So there you go. There's a close-up of it. It didn't take that long, so there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed that, and I hope it's inspired you to, you know, just get out your inks and your um, watercolors. You don't have to have all of these items um, that we see, you know, other people have. It just make do with what you've got. Um, this, uh, that, I just, every now and then I pull it out, and that just adds something nice as well. So, Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will be back soon with another uh, Create With Me. Have a good rest of the week. Bye.